Coach's corner. Brad the Dwan. Dwan's gonna be demoing. She's not super awesome, but she's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Uh, sumo deadlift. Um, we've added to our strength cycle. What I want you guys to do is master this position the same as anything else. Um, we haven't really talked a lot about the, the starting points of rum, and I'm watching some of the pictures and some of the videos that people are sending in. Um, yeah. So, let's talk about it. <clears throat> Kristen is pretty flexible and actually has a real hard time with getting a decent position on it because she is too flexible. Too flexible, not too flexible. So, wide foot position. The biggest thing I want to see out of this is you can have the toes turned out a little bit, we're gonna have them straight depending on your flexibility. Um, what I wanna make sure is that the knees are out and the shins remain vertical. What I'm on about this is vertical or deficit. Vertical is kind of straight up and down. I invented vertical. Vertical, straight up and down. And deficit where it's kind of angled a little bit back towards your body. So when she goes and set up on it, I want her hands directly underneath her shoulders. It's gonna give you the highest shoulder position that you can for your start. In a deadlift, you typically have a high hip. A high hip, you'll hear this a lot of times in the powerlifting guys we'll talk about. Um, high hip wins in the deadlift, high hip wins in the deadlift. Uh, I see a lot of people doing two squatty deadlift starts or sumo deadlift, high pull, or deadlift starts. So set down, up, she could drop her hands right underneath your shoulders. Now obviously all the other points of performance of a deadlift, super neutral spine, weighs back, her knees are a little forward right now, push them back a little bit, push them back. Now I want you almost to feel like you're falling backwards. As you're about ready to fall backwards, go ahead and stand up. Now she comes away, the bar comes away about mid mid thigh for her. That's kind of I think the shape of her body and that's the way that she moves. But obviously it's suboptimal. Push your knees out and sit back and down. Slide your hands right down your thighs. There you go. And down to the mid shin. Now come back up the same way. Now a little bit far. So she's a little more pop at the top would be a little bit better. Back down please. And up. And down. What I want to see is that some sort of a high hip position up here. Now if you now squat it down. Do you see this? This is not the right place for you. This is where you don't want you to sumo Modella from this place. Somewhere here, and you should see a shit ton of hamstring. Push your knees out as you go, go. You came off again, and back down, please. I'm trying to get her to keep the bar close, and it just might be the shop, shape of her body, because she's got a relatively long torso. Um, talk about you like you're not even here. Push your knees back, and go. And the bar is going to come off for her. She needs to be more back on her heels and lean back a little bit more. Here, let me demo it. Try not to kill this thing. So, out here wide, knees are out, set in, hips in. Obviously, with 135, it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. However, obviously, your technique may break down um, depending on where you're at. The technique breaks down, it's too heavy nervous when I try and coach her too much and get too close. So I'm gonna go sit in the coach's chair and kind of observe and kind of coach her because when we were practicing this prior to turning the camera on, she didn't look like a monkey fucking a football, which was good. <laughs> so I'm gonna assume the point in the coach's chair. There's a coach's chair. Close my ears. Now Kristen, go ahead and set up, please. Sit back, sit back, push your knees back a smidge and knees back a smidge and start to fall back. Look at that, better. So somebody's just insecure as one of them in their personal space, that's all it is. Go ahead again, and down. You ran into your knees on the way down, and down, and push your hips back, there you go. And, oh yeah, maybe a little, a little bit more bend in the knee for her, that might be a little bit better. Maybe we'll say coach's, coach's corner, we'll call it coach's chair. Coach's chair. Dwan being insecure. Boom. See, I feel like those are